Join me, the big kid in the candy store, as we discover the world of extreme sweets. I'm off to check out another destination that is making candy you can't eat, and some you might not want to. My next stop, Fairfield, California, and a place that takes beans to the extreme. Jelly beans, that is. Inside Jelly Belly's mega factory, they crank out over one and a half million jelly beans per month. That's enough jelly beans to fill five large swimming pools. From the traditional, are you a fan of butter popcorn I, flavor? I do the butter popcorn. To the downright bizarre, Skunk! Ah! <laughs> Jelly Belly has over 80 flavors to choose from. I'm off to see how this quirky company is redefining eye candy in the form of Jelly Belly art. This is my kind of portrait gallery. I'm in the Jelly Belly Art Gallery where all the subjects are done in jelly bean. This is unbelievable. When it comes to Jelly Belly art, Lisa Brasher, whose father Herman is the owner of Jelly Belly, is quite the connoisseur. Look at this over here. You got American Gothic. Yes. How many jelly beans does it take to make something like this? This is about 10,000 Jelly Belly jelly beans. Whether you're shopping for Jelly Bellies in the lobby or taking a guided tour, every corner you turn in this place, there's paintings and works of art all done with jelly beans. With almost 100 Jelly Belly paintings commissioned over the past 20 years, the common theme seems to be a sweet slice of Americana. You can't get more American than the Statue of Liberty. Tell me about some of the flavors that are used. Berry cherry and coconut, toasted marshmallow and blueberry, some licorice in here. Now, how long does it take to put that together? Peter Rocha, who did some of our first pieces of art, Ronald Reagan was the first piece of art we did. It took him about six months. Unbelievable. And uh, this is probably going to be my favorite one here. I'm a huge, huge Arnold fan. Made from almost 11,000 jelly beans, this portrait of the governor includes berry cherry, caramel apple, and blueberry jelly bellies, just to name a few. Would you like to try what Arnold's hair is made out of? Oh, yes. <laughs> root beer. It's root beer flavored yeah. hair. After admiring a few more of the paintings, Lisa gives me a challenge I did not expect. Would you like to try making some jelly belly art? I'll try my hand. Let's give it a try. The beans are normally placed side by side. We'll just use a little of this glue and you can spread it on here and then start your art. So I've been commissioned to come up with my own piece of Jelly Belly art. I can't really tell you what I'm making, it's top secret. Keep in mind that a lot of these pieces of art take like six months and I have a day. Judging by the number of beans still left to go, it's obvious I'm going to need a little help. Okay, so here it is, what I was telling you about. This okay. is uh, Susan, who I found here at Jelly Belly. Susan's been enlisted to help me with my project. That's what we're looking for. Ah, nice. That's great. Okay, okay. I think I can do it. Okay, and I'll be back. All right, thank you. I'll bring you some Jelly Bellies. Okay. <laughs> with my top secret Jelly Bean art project underway, I'm off to see how these unconventional art supplies are made. Before I leave these extreme beans behind, my helper Susan and I have some final touches to make to the candy art project I started when I arrived. Last bean. All right, you do the honors. Really? It's beautiful. There it is. But is it good enough to be immortalized in the Jelly Belly Art Gallery? So uh, this is a little project we've been working on. Let me know what y'all think.